No, Hyundai didn't end its relationship with hydrogen or ice. It's been a busy week for Hyundai, who had to refute claims it was breaking up with hydrogen. This week, we saw yet another claim by an industry insider that Hyundai had suspended their R. D and third generation hydrogen fuel cells. An article by Korean news outlet Chosen Biz claimed that Hyundai had suspended R. D and third generation hydrogen fuel cells due to technical problems and a lack of marketability. That's apparently not true. An unnamed Hyundai Motor official issued a statement today to zero to the Korea Times, refuting the claim. The hydrogen news was hot on the heels of the claim that Hyundai was closing down its internal combustion engine RD and moving the 12. 000 odd staff to electric vehicle departments. Just a few hours ago, an email sent to zero to motor one com zero to from senior group manager at Hyundai, Motor America, Michael Stewart, said, Honestly, I'm starting to wonder if these industry insiders are paying fans of rival companies, looking to cause a fray. In the case of the hydrogen claim, investors reacted adversely to the news. According to the Korea Times, Companies affiliated with Hyundai and are working on fuel cell tech saw share prices drop by 4% to 10% following the report. It looks like investors are taking their cues from the media and are not sure that's a good thing. Shouldn't they be paying analysts for a more long-term vision? In 2018, the South Korean government and Hyundai set an annual production goal of 130 000 hydrogen cars by 2025 and 80. 000 hydrogen cars sold by 2022. So far, retail sales are not even close anywhere in the world. In 2021, sales of HFC vehicles almost doubled compared to the previous year. 16,300 vehicles were registered from January to December. 20,201. 8,900 of these were Hyundai Motors sole fuel cell of any XO, which increased its sales by 46% compared to the previous year. In September last year, Hyundai announced its Hydrogen Vision 2040 at an online event called Hydrogen Wave. It doubled down on its aim to become the first automaker to apply fuel cell systems to all commercial vehicle models by 2028. This is part of a bigger mission introducing hydrogen fuel cells into high-performance vehicles. These include urban air mobility, robots, aircraft, and large ships. Hyundai Engineering Colorado, a construction unit of Hyundai Motor Group is spending $336 million to build a plant to produce hydrogen from plastic waste. The company expects to raise up to $1.2 billion in a planned initial public offering early this year. Hydrogen fuel cell-powered vehicles share the woes that plagues EV users both lack easy access to charging or power. At the end of 2020, 553 hydrogen refueling stations were in operation worldwide. In 2018, a collective of industry leaders and the government pledged to have 0 to 300. 10 hydrogen refueling stations 0 to in South Korea by 2022. At the end of 2020, there were a mere 60. That's a pretty dire shortfall. There are 0 to just under 400 0 to of charging stations in South Korea. By comparison, most applications for hydrogen are industry ships, trains, buses, the TOLS, and trucks. These typically have access to on-site refueling at truck parking bays, shipyards, bus, and train depots. But for hydrogen fuel cell cars to succeed, the infrastructure needs to catch up. Leaving a chicken and egg problem where companies are trying to balance the long-term snail pace of commercial hydrogen fuel cell evolution with the rapid acceleration of electric vehicles.